it's very nice to be here in Montreal. What a wonderful city. I, I don't know about you, but I'm excited about seeing it finished. <laughs> I'm from Great Britain, and what makes Britain great is our ability to laugh at ourselves. And when I say ourselves, I mean other people. <laughs> and when I say laugh, I mean invade. <laughs> hey, the Queen's still on your money. We got you. Uh, <laughs> just saying. <laughs> Someone came up to me and said, I thought you'd be younger. I said, I was. <laughs> um, are, there any, are there any groupies in? Any gag, hags, any chuckle f <laughs> the, the, the reason I ask is because if any young ladies come up to me after the show looking for sex, I'm going to have to disappoint you. I mean, we can have sex. <laughs> it's going to be quite disappointing. <laughs> <laughs> There's something I don't understand about a woman's G-spot. I can't quite put my finger on it. <laughs> I can drive a woman wild with my tongue. Would you, would you like me to demonstrate? No problem at all. Happy to help. Pay attention, gentlemen. All the action is taking place here if you want to drive a woman wild with your tongue. Have you put on weight? Years ago, this woman introduced handcuffs into our sexual relationship when she, um, called the police. <laughs> I said, I'll come quietly. <laughs> if you strangle yourself during sex, it's called auto-erotic asphyxiation. If you do it to someone else, it's called a serious sexual assault. The thing I worry about when I hear kids in the third world are working 18 hours a day to make my sneakers is when are they going to get the chance to finish my laptop? <laughs> a lot of these are jokes, sir. Don't pay. You look genuinely upset. <laughs> Flooding. Flooding is pretty bad. I saw a woman on the news in her flooded kitchen crying. I thought, crying's not helping. If anything, you're making matters worse. <laughs> I got involved in a charity recently. I don't think I come across as the most charitable kind of guy, but I got involved in a charity. What happened was I was told about it. Well, I overheard people talking about it, and I thought, well, that sounds really interesting. I went away and I Googled it, and I got involved. So I'm going to do the same thing for you. I'm just going to tell you what we do. You could just Google it when you get home and get involved. What we're doing is we're sending obese children to the rainforest. Well, you can titter, because I don't mind. We're already seeing incredible results. And if you want to be part of that, it's feedthetigers.com. <laughs> I would think about adoption. I don't have kids, but if I had kids, I think I would have them adopted. <laughs> People criticise Madonna, but the kid she adopted, fair trade. <laughs> That's the one that went too far. Fair enough. Um, why would you become an Islamic fundamentalist suicide bomber? On the off chance, you might get 72 virgins when you die. <laughs> become a Catholic priest and have them now. <laughs> well, I've been Jimmy Carr. Thank you very much indeed. Cheers. Good night. Thank you. <laughs>